Um, been a little bit so right now I'm currently about to end week three um, of my cut I'm going for 12 weeks I have a men's physique competition April 22nd I think it is the 22nd or 23rd so our peak bulk weight um, I got to about 201 pounds and now like I said I've been cutting this will be ending out week three um, probably when this is posted and right now I'm currently weighing 188 pounds, so I'm down about 12 pounds. Um, and obviously a lot of that's going to be water weight and stuff um, to start off with. But, you know, we're going to see how it goes. Um, we'll adjust stuff as we go. But right now um, my totals for the day is about 2,100 calories, something around that. So today I was just going to run you guys through a full day of eating, um, what it looks like while I'm cutting, and do a push workout. Um, you guys probably saw some of the stuff that I was cooking earlier in the video um, and this is what it's looking like this will be the first meal for today we've got two slices of whole grain bread half an avocado some Greek yogurt with some blueberries um, two whole eggs uh, six tablespoons of egg whites and then two cups of it's like an ultra filtered like fat free milk but that'll be my first meal um, it's a little bit later than normal I normally eat earlier than this it's like 10 o'clock right now um, I woke up this morning, went and trained someone, came back, did a couple things, and now this is just when I'm getting my first meal in. But I'm going to eat this um, and then probably do some work, and then I'll head to the gym. I'm going to do a shoulder-focused push workout, and I think that's all I'm going to film for now up until then. Um, I might film something else if I think of anything, but most likely I will see you guys at the gym. Okay, so I just got in my pickup, um, getting ready to go to the gym. Also, I forgot to say, you guys, on that last meal, um, I'm, well, you've already have seen it by now, but I'll put the macros up um, for that last meal on there that I ate. I forgot to sneeze, but... Um, anyways, it's just reminded me, dude, I don't know what this is, okay? Um, I posted this on my story, but I figured I'd put it on here as well. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys this. Okay, so... My left turn signal, okay? You get that? The speed of it, normal, right? Right one. Okay. So, I know that's hyper flashing, obviously, but I cannot figure out what... Maybe there's, like, someone in here. I already have a couple different solutions that people gave me that I'm going to try out. Um, it's not the bulb. I've checked the bulb. I've put new bulbs in. They're not LEDs, so it's not, like, too short of a power that it's causing it to hyper flash. I know that'll happen with LEDs. It's a normal bulb. Um, they're brand new bulbs. I've switched the bulbs out twice. It's that's just that right side. And sometimes it'll go like back to normal. Like very rarely, most of the time it flashes like that. But sometimes it'll go to normal, but then it goes right back um, to flashing quickly like that. I did have someone tell me to try. I didn't even know. I didn't even think about this. That there's a relay um, under the dash that might be bad that I could switch out. So I'm going to try that. Um, but besides that, I mean, if that doesn't work, I've checked the fuses in the fuse box and everything, and they're all fine. Um, so maybe something shorten out somewhere, I don't know. But if you guys maybe have an idea what that might be, comment it, let me know. Because um, one of those things, you know, like, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but it's one of those things that, like, it eats at me when it does it. When I turn my blinker on it, like, it pisses me off almost. Just, it's one of those things that bugs me. Like, I get bugged by stuff by that. And normally it's a simple fix, but I just, I can't figure out what's going on with it. So maybe if you guys have an idea... I've YouTubed it, I've Googled it, I just I cannot find like a solid answer of what it might be. Uh, maybe one of you guys had it happen or something, I'm in a 2009 Tacoma, um, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but yeah, maybe if you guys let me know, or have had that issue, or maybe just know what it might be, um, let me know, comment it, but yeah, now we're going to head to the gym, and I will see you guys there. Hey kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test 
If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless you guys um just got back well i didn't just get back i've been sitting in the pickup for about 15 minutes but uh just got done with the lift it was a decent workout i mean i it kind of made me think of stuff something though while i was in there um i've been able to get away with like dirty bulking i guess you could call it for so long just because my metabolism and the way my genetics are um i've never gained like a ton of body fat but I would highly, highly recommend that if you're really into lifting and you want to stay in good shape, I mean, I would recommend to never do like a dirty bulk. And the reason I say that is if you do a dirty bulk, then when the time comes that you do want to cut or you want to get more lean, it's so much harder to get into that routine of eating clean and that much less calories. Um... So what I would say here would be the best thing to do. Like, obviously, if you don't compete or anything, then you might just want to be kind of lean for the summer, not like stage lean or something like that. But um, what you the the smartest thing to do is to do it's they call it like a lean bulk. It's not there's no such thing as a lean bulk. You're either bulking or you're not. But stay in like a 500 calorie surplus and keep like 80 90 percent of your food clean. Um, still enjoy food and go out and like, you can have like a cheat meal or whatever once in a while, but just make the majority of you. It's all about balance. You guys, I mean, try to make the majority of your food healthy and you know, you can splurge a little bit sometimes, but I would highly, highly recommend don't just go full on dirty bulk. Like you hear a lot of these people say, it's just, it's not healthy. And then when you do want to get lean, it's a lot harder to break that habit. Um, but for me now like workouts because I've been used to eating like that and having all those carbs and everything in me all the time. It's so much, the workouts, like you don't get near the pump anymore that I used to when I was eating that type of stuff because now it's a lot, my calories, like I said, have dropped down to like 2,100 or 2,200 or something like that. And I was used to eating like 4,000 calories. So the workouts just, it's an adjustment for sure getting used to it, but It'll be worth it. Um, I would just highly recommend you guys don't do a, a really dirty bulk like that because it's just really hard to break the habit after it. Um, do a lean bulk. Try to keep it all clean. Um, then when the time comes, it'll be a lot easier to drop those calories down. But just got finished up with the workout. Like I said, it was uh, it was an okay workout. It wasn't the best for sure. Um, and I just got a notification. I think my protein and stuff got here, so I'll show you guys what that is, what I drink after my workouts and everything. And then we have a couple more meals for the day. And I'll show you guys those, and that'll probably round up the video. Um, we'll see. I'll probably see you guys when I'm mixing up my protein shake in the next clip. All right, so we just got home. Um, the package did get here, so I'll show you guys that real quick. This is what I drink um, post-workout, after every workout. Formula One, this is the protein. Um, I do two scoops of this after each one. And let me see here. That's right. 20 grams of protein. I do two scoops of that. And then this is the ignition. It's just a fast digesting glycemic carbohydrate. Um, 42 grams of carbs. And I will honestly say, you guys, um, I've ran out of that stuff. I haven't had it for like a week. And it's one of those supplements that most supplements, you don't feel it like work right away. It's doing stuff, but you don't really feel it working. Um, 
the ignition and the Formula One, besides it being like it tastes amazing, that was root beer float, and it literally tastes amazing, amazing in water. And uh, that's a big thing to me for a post workout shake because I want it to be good in water because that's what I'm going to mix it with most of the time. I don't want the extra calories with the milk. And, anyways, I've been out of it. And it's insane how much more sore I've been staying not being able to have this. Um, it's That's mainly from the ignition, um, the carb getting in you immediately. Help you recover so you don't have that muscle soreness. But it, it's insane, you guys. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if there's a protein out there, here's what I always tell people. First Form and another brand called Rule One are the only proteins that have never upset my stomach. Um, I just have a very sensitive stomach. So if you're someone that does... I highly recommend the Formula One. It's never messed with my stomach. It tastes amazing. Um, and paired with the ignition, it's just, it tastes great. So you can't really go wrong with it. Um, another thing I got is, I don't know if you see it. It's called Radiant. It's like a skin clarity um, supplement. And if you get acne or have acne at all, it's it's insane. I can't take it in the morning. I have to take it at night because it'll mess with my stomach if I take it in the morning. But if you take it at night, dude, it's insane how fast it just clears up your acne. I don't really know exactly everything that's in it, um, a bunch of vitamins and stuff, but it does work for sure. And so I'd tell anyone that's watching it, if you don't take supplements, um, a post-workout protein, I would start there. Um, I think I'm actually going to make a video and do a review, an in-depth review of the post-workout stack of Formula One Ignition. And if there's any other supplements, you guys, or anything like in the fitness industry that you'd like a review of, let me know because I think I'm going to start doing some of those maybe once a week. Um, just review some stuff. So let me know if there's something that you'd like to see reviewed, and I'll try to get a hold of it and let you guys know what I think. But we're going to do that. Um, drink this shake, and then I'll get back on. Probably going to have some chicken and something else um, for the second meal of the day. And then tonight I have some elk steaks and stuff that I'll show you guys. But I'm going to drink this, um, and then when I get back on, I'll show you guys what the total is at for the day and what we're eating. Um, probably just be chicken and something like that in the next clip. Okay, so this is what we got. Technically, I guess, technically this would be meal number three, and all it is is eight ounces of chicken breast tenderloin. Um, I already had that breakfast this morning, or kind of a brunch, I guess you could call it. It was pretty big, so, and then I had a banana that I didn't put on there, um, and then that post-workout shake has, I can't remember if I said 30-something grams of carbs in it. So that kind of counts as a meal, that post-workout shake. And then this technically would be um, like my third meal. It's just 40 grams of protein. And I'm kind of saving my carbs and the rest of my calories because I just like eating them for dinner. So I'll do that in a couple hours. Um, and I'll film that meal after I have it cooked for dinner. And then, yeah, that'll cap off the stuff for the day. And I'll put the total calorie count and all the macros and stuff up on the screen at the end of the video and just kind of show you guys everything but yeah it's just something simple i'm not super hungry right now so this works for me um then i might have a glass of milk or something if i'm still a little hungry but yeah that's what we're gonna cap off for meal number three and then i'll see you guys when i eat the next all right you guys so there's the last meal of the night it's about 10 or 11 ounces um, of elk backstrap and a couple pieces of garlic toast and sugar-free cherry coke and you guys this is a huge reason why I hunt, okay? Venison, that elk backstrap, I want to say it's like 35 grams of protein per four ounces of meat. Actually, let me look real quick. I can look on here. Yeah, it's like 30, and there's literally no fat, hardly. There's like a half a gram of fat in those four ounces. It's insanely lean, super high protein. It's some of the best tasting meat out there. That's why I hunt. And yeah, that'll kind of wrap up um, the full day eating on a cut. It's not a whole lot of food, but it's only 2,100 calories, so is what it is um and yeah you guys if that's if you're struggling with getting protein in and you hunt or you don't hunt maybe i would look into that stuff i don't know if it's very readily available to buy venison but if you could that'd be a huge help um and then i think probably the next video will be a review of the post-workout stack from first form and like i said um earlier if you guys want to see anything get reviewed any supplements or anything like that maybe some other different stuff that's in the fitness industry let me know um and i can try to get some of it and review it and then i'll also i'll pop up um all the macros and the total calories and everything and like a picture at the end of this but until then you guys i'll see you in the next video um, most likely to be a review and thank you guys for watching